All right. We'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Uh, my name is Willie Wynn, and I have a very, very special guest here with me today. I guess he's more than a guest. He's actually a family member, Mr. Mark Boatchin. Yeah. Happy to have you here, Mark. How you doing? You well? Good? Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. So I, I want to let everybody know out there that uh, Mark and I are actually distant cousins. Believe it or not, uh, some of you all maybe have watched some videos in the past. I'm an African-American. Mark actually, his, both of his parents are from West Africa, Ghana, and we both have tested uh, Ancestry DNA and we have come back as cousins. Isn't that amazing? Uh, Mark, I I'll let you tell the people maybe a little bit about, you know, your background and how we actually connected. You know, okay. of course, you also match my mother's test, so Mark is actually a maternal cousin of, of mine found through uh, the DNA testing. So, so Mark, I'll let you go at it, man. What, what do you want to tell the people about yourself? Um, yeah, like, uh, my family uh, are both Ghanaian um, heritage. Uh, both born in Ghana, uh, moved to London um, where they where they worked. Um, the whole point of doing the test was to find um, a little bit what was missing just because of the background and, and what was my kind of makeup if it was just purely Ghanaian or was it other countries involved which our family had suggested it might be. So they were the main reasons I, I got involved in it and then luckily with the whole testing thing um, you get to communicate with people who who match up and who have um, close DNA to yours and try find a, a, a kind of a middle ground of where it all connects. And the majority of your test results came back Ivory Coast, Ghana region, which is essentially where both of your parents are, right? So yeah, it's, yeah, pretty so, accurate. Yeah, so it's it's pretty accurate. They they came back in the Ghana, Ghana region and um, Togo and Benin and and around that area. Um, what's important to know as well that within when you're matched up with Togo and, and Benin that. They were originally gone as well, so yeah, it's it, it's it's very easy to yeah think it might be something else, and yeah, so it was mainly gone, and then which I suspected, and we had Mali as well involved, and in, which yes, is something that I was always interested in. Absolutely. So colonization has created these false borders, but again, you're looking at a hundred percent African. Uh, my results came back 93%. I'm proud to say that Ivory Coast Ghana was also my largest region at 38%. Man, it's so happy to find a distant cousin. You know, we, look, we were disconnected. Uh, we, we have a common grandparent. Uh, based on our test results, we probably match around the fifth to sixth cousin yeah, level. Yeah, so that common grandparent was actually, uh, you know, stolen from, uh, from Africa, taken over to somewhere, America, Caribbean or whatever. But it's a beautiful thing that a couple of hundred years later, uh, we, we actually are descendants of that common grandparent and we're back together. Right? That's very true. And I guess we look a little bit alike too. And yeah, I'm, so I'm looking so at so people so. on my mother's side and I'm like, man, yeah. you, you, there's so much similarity. You yeah. know? So it's crazy. So look, we, we hope that uh, this video finds a, a number of people and that this is encouraging you to test. Let, Mark, is there anything that you'd like to encourage the people that maybe are Native Africans? Yeah. Many people that don't, they like that motivation to take those tests. So how would you encourage the Native Africans? Um, Native African Americans, I, I think it's a it's a it's a great um, test to do just to understand a bit of belonging or uh, a bit of understanding because during the times of transportation and slavery and everything else, most of our heritage is um, have been disconnected or forgotten about. So it's important yeah. to 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 find some connection and belonging and, and self worth that there's more to. To, to you then being American and such is a, it's a great privilege to be African and um, yeah and you might realize that the traits that you have which you thought were just American they've actually passed down and they're actually quite African the moment you see them elsewhere. I love it yeah. and how would you encourage the native Africans you know many, many people that are native Africans are like oh I don't need to take a test I know where my mother and my father were born similar to yourself is there anything that you would encourage them that are struggling to take the test? Uh, the native Africans is yeah, it'd be, it'd be nice if you could take the test because at the same time, as much as you may feel that there's no need because you're you're already in your own lands and doing your own thing, um, it's important for for you to provide a pathway or road for those who are trying to find their way yes. to find their way. So you, you, you play a part, um, an important tool in 
and given that kind of guidance. No, that's beautiful, man. I, I'm from California, you're from London. I've come here to see you in London. And so this is a beautiful thing. This is a great reality of what can happen when a when a person, I'm, I'm gonna call you Native African, even though you're first generation London, your parents, yeah. both parents are from Ghana. Yeah. Uh, you know, I'm multi-generations from America and we've been able to connect from the power of DNA testing. Yo, this is sweet. Uh, th this is not just my yeah. brother, but cousin, family yeah. member. On the maternal side of my family, man, love you. Yeah. And it's just such a blessing to be here with you all. Yeah. And so we're all, thank you all so much for thank joining you. us. Thanks all right. very much.